Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at the angles on unit circle in relation to the values for x and y depending upon what quadrant we're in. Now notice just like in the x-y axis we have four quadrants. We have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. In quadrant one the angle will be somewhere between zero and 90 degrees. Oop. And again, get a little ahead of myself. So theta less than or equal to 90 degrees, or we can say that zero less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi over two. So either we express the angle in terms of degrees or the angle in terms of radians. And so in the first quadrant, the value for y will always be positive and the value for x will always be positive. So the y value, and let me start with the x value. The x value is positive and the y value is positive in the first quadrant. Now, when we move over to the second quadrant, now the angle is between 90 and 180 degrees. So here we can say in quadrant two that 90 is less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 180 degrees, or pi over two is less than or equal to uh, theta, which is less than or equal to pi. So the angle between pi, uh, half a pi or pi, or 90 degrees and 180 degrees, we can now see that for the x value, notice we're now on the left side of the y-axis, so this is the x value for the point like right there, and therefore that will be a negative value, so x is equal to a negative value in the second quadrant, but the y value is still positive because here you can see that it's above the x-axis, that's a positive value, so the y value is still a positive value. So here you can say x and y are positive, here x is negative, y is positive. Now for an angle between 180 and 270 degrees, that's in the third quadrant, so 90, 180, 270 degrees, so we can see that from 180, less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 270 degrees, or pi, less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 3 halves pi, now we're in the third quadrant. This point right here, notice that both the x value will be negative and the y value will be negative because we're to the left of the y-axis and below the x-axis. So therefore we can say that the x value in that case will be a negative value and the y will be a negative value in the third quadrant. And finally, continuing on into the fourth quadrant, so now we've traveled an angle of 270 degrees between 270 and 360. So 270 degrees is less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 360 degrees, or 3 halves pi is less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to 2 pi. Remember, 2 pi or 360 degrees is a full circle. So now we're in the fourth quadrant. We can see now that the x value is back into the positive realm because now we're to the right of the y-axis, so this is a positive value. So x is a positive value, but y is still a negative value because you can see that we're below the x-axis, so this is a negative value for y. So the x and y values on the unit circle, as we go around the circle and the angle increases from 0 to 90, both are positive. From 90 to 180, x is negative, y is positive. From 180 to 270 degrees, you can see that x is negative and y is negative, so that's a negative quadrant there. And then finding the fourth quadrant, we can see then between 270 and 360 degrees, x is positive again and y is negative. And it's a good idea to memorize that or at least to be able to draw the inner circle, look at it and go, oh, I can see that over here x is negative, y is positive, over here they're both negative and so forth. It's important to know how to do that because we'll be able to use that in some later exercises when we deal with trigonometry. That's how we do that.